Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Today, I will be customizing this Porter Geist from Monster High. I have previously worked on this doll. As you can see, the hair has been rerouted, as well as the factory paint has been removed. To start the face up, I spray the face with Mr. Super Clear so that the plastic has a paper-like texture so that the chalk pastels as well as the colored pencils stick to the surface. So I start with some blushing on the cheeks, eyes, lips, and nose. Afterwards, I will add the eye to the Y's with my colored pencils and using my colored pencils, I add more pigment to the eyeshadows. I also added some freckles on the cheeks, nose, and forehead. Next, for the eyes, I went for a green color to contrast the pink, blues, and purples on the face and in the outfit later. After I feel most of the face is done, I use paint for the whites of the eyes as well as the catch lights in the eyes. After the last layer of sealant is dry, I add glossy varnish to the eyes and lips. Off camera, I added some blue and pink hearts to the cheeks as well as some piercings to the nose and ears. As you can see, I have previously rerouted the head before starting this project, so I will be showing you how to make flocking as well as apply it. I will be using white and pink yarn. The pink yarn I have is a bit too dark, so mixing in the white will also soften the color. For the flocking, you just need a few strands of the yarn and cut small portions at a time. Next, you apply a layer of glue to the head and add some flocking into the glue and press lightly. You can use the end of a paintbrush to push the fibers into the glue better. So starting with the first part of the outfit is this top that I had previously dyed with watered down watercolor paint. I'll be adding some blue watercolor paint to the trims and then I will add some splashes of a darker purple. Again, a watercolored paint just to add that bleached t-shirt style. To add more punk details on the back of the shirt, I painted a skeletal spine and ribs. On the front, I added a stuffed angel as well as an eye with bat wings and poison apple.
off camera, I added some words, RIP and things go bump in the night. For the pants, I took inspiration from Moonlight Jewel in her cinnamon roll video. I liked the pants with the pockets, so I gave it a try. First, I made a pattern and cut it out. Then I cut the pieces out of the fabric. It was a blue stretchy fabric. I am not a sewing expert, but I will try to show you my process. I started with gluing the pockets to the front pieces. I glued the good side of the pockets to the back side of the pants. Next, I sew the front pieces together. After that, I will sew the back pieces to the front pieces along the outer leg seam. For the waist, I could hem the top by folding it over, but I, but I decided to add a waistband. Next, I sew the back pieces together. For the last step, I add the leg cuffs and sew the pants together along the inner legs. For the turtleneck, I had to create my own pattern. I had no idea what I was doing, but I gave it a shot. I had this nice, soft, white, stretchy fabric which had a nice texture to it, so I cut out the front, back, and sleeve pieces. I started by sewing the shoulder seams together, finished sides in, and for the turtleneck, I sewed it backwards so the bad sides were facing out and the good sides were facing in. That way, when I flip it over, it will have a nice clean look. Throughout the process, I have been checking the size on the body. After checking the sizes, I sew the sleeves on. I first pin the center of the sleeve to the center of the shoulder and then pin the other sides and sew it. Then I close the shirt by sewing the arms and the side seams. I turn out the top and try it on the doll. For the accessories, I had a pair of shoes that I got from Deuce Gorgon. I used 100% acetone to remove the paint and wash them before painting them. After the shoes were done, I added a few other details to the outfit off camera and then added one more accessory. And here's the final doll. Because this is a new adventure for me, making YouTube videos, I decided to customize a boy doll for my first video since I haven't really customized as many boy dolls as I have for girls, so this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to see more and subscribe to catch future videos. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye!